A famous acting guru once said that by the time an actor reaches the stage, he or she no longer experiences a distinction between himself or herself and the character. That a third persona has been created, which is a combination of the actor's personality and the role. Cut. All right, good job, Falake. All right, everybody, let's take a five minute break. Now that's crying. You see that lip quiver? You wish you could nail that in one take, don't you? You untalented bitch. Yeah, girl. Make that kata de flow. Just like Viola Davis. Get it everywhere. That's it. <sighs> Shit! I'll be there in a minute. I have to redo my makeup. You know, there was one character I never dreamed I'd play. Myself. Guys, there you have it, a scene from the brand new movie, Ezewani, directed by the award-winning filmmaker Kingsley Ophel, and starring the most in-demand actress for La Coca. You're welcome to Nollywood Life. Thank you, Genevieve. Same here. Thank you for having us. Let's get right to it. And I'll be starting with your first Kingsley. Quite an ambitious project you took up. So why did you decide to produce a Nigerian historical movie? Well, um, I've always toyed with that idea of doing a musical so I can bring a certain theatrical aesthetic to the big screen. And I think Ezenwani accomplishes that. And from what we've seen, it's going to be a blockbuster of a movie. Uh, thank you. I did do it by myself. I had a wonderful actress to work with, and I think uh, she delivered beyond expectation. The yeah, I definitely delivered. And I think, uh, Letting you fuck me in the ass for the part will all be worth it, I'm sure. For Lake, quite a performance. Is the public also aware that you can sing? Well, they will soon know. I'm also a trained dancer from my theater arts days. I always saw myself as a performer from my childhood. 
So naturally, when I went to the university, I enrolled into theater arts. So what was it like acting alongside Tolu Maximus? Did you guys connect? Yeah. It's weird how we were into the same things. We discussed music, literature, philosophy. He's really down to it and hot, right? Nosy bitch. You've got two choices on how you want to be treated as a woman in this industry. Objectified or vilified. You need to dumb it down, girl. Seriously hot. Hmm. Your family had to say, are they supportive with you, your career? They have as much as they can be. It's a tough industry to go into, so a strong support system helps. Dealing with fame isn't that easy, but thankfully to somebody like Kingsley, who have helped to navigate rough waters, so to say. Yeah, she's uh, she's definitely in good hands with me. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Really nice having you guys on this TV show. I really do appreciate it, seriously. Thank you, Mr. Kingsley. And for Laka, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. So, um, if you're not doing anything later, uh, can I get something to eat and talk about the PR plans? Um. I'm meeting someone and I'm already late, so... Oh. Um, where are you heading? I'll drop you off. That's okay. My driver is out in front. Thanks again. The harder you reject fame, the harder infamy chases you. It assumes your modesty must be arrogance. Outside feels more closed in than inside. Cockroaches everywhere, scuttling out when you least expect them. Even vampires get to go out and play at night. Every new character is a Pandora's box. You don't know what you're going to give them or what they're going to take from you. That's what ambition gets you. Jesus fucking Christ for like here. I've called you and left you like a thousand messages by now. Why don't you want to talk to me? because you're a vagina-obsessed fuckboy who'd sooner fuck his own mother than admit he has a problem. I know I fucked up, right? But it wasn't my fault. She came on to me. I was drunk. You have to believe me. Stop ignoring my messages. a great premise. I have some money saved up and I'll call in some favors to produce it myself. Fuck you, Sir Kingsley. If a half-wit like you can do it, then so can I. Don't judge. Lots of great writers use alcohol to get over writer's block. I'm just waiting to find out how much it actually takes. Once upon a time, there was a young girl from the slums of Ajegunle who came to the big city to be a star. She was beautiful. People said she had talent and she believed them. They just didn't tell her how many blowjobs she'd have to give to make it to the top. Oh, I have to show you something.
that's my whole world right there. And I'm right on the edge.